This is the Basilica of Our Lady of Peace found in Yamasukro, the capital city of Ivory Coast. Upon its completion in 1990, it became the Guinness World Record holder of the largest church in the world surpassing the St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City. This gigantic building sits on 30,000 square meters of land and has a height of 158 meters. Since its construction, this project has been debated as to its importance to the country with many calling it a useless project and a complete waste. You might be asking how a church project is useless. Well, there is quite a lot to unpack in this video, so subscribe to the channel and follow me. Why the Basilica of Our Lady of Peace? In 1983, the then president of Ivory Coast Felix Hufert Boydny decided to move the capital city of the country from Abidjan to his birthplace called Yamusukru. At that time, Yamusukru was a small town with less than 100,000 people. In a bid to make Yamusukru a popular and attractive destination, not just for Ivorians but the world, he decided to build a structure that will put the Ivory Coast on the map. The construction of the Basilica of Our Lady of Peace was commissioned by Felix Hofart Boigny as a symbol of his faith and the country's prosperity. Hufert Boigny, who was a devout Catholic, wanted to build a grand church that would rival the great churches of Europe and serve as a beacon of hope and inspiration for the people of Fertevois. He also saw the basilica as a way to put his country on the map and demonstrate its economic and cultural power to the rest of the world. The construction of the basilica was part of a larger plan to transform Yamusukru, which was then a small town, into a modern capital city. Hufut Boydny envisioned Yamusukru as a showcase of Cote d'Ivoire's progress and prosperity, and the basilica was meant to be the jewel of the crown of this new capital. Did he achieve his goal? Well, we will talk about that later. Architecture of the Basilica of Our Lady of Peace The architecture of the Basilica of Our Lady of Peace is a remarkable blend of modern and traditional styles, creating a unique and awe-inspiring structure that has become one of the most recognizable landmarks in Africa. The basilica is modeled after the Basilica of St. Peter in Vatican City, with a long nave, a central dome, and a cross-shaped floor plan. However, it also incorporates elements of traditional African architecture, such as the use of local materials and the inclusion of outdoor spaces for communal gatherings. The exterior of the basilica is clad in Italian marble, giving it a pristine and elegant appearance. The main entrance is flanked by two bell towers, each standing at a height of 90 meters. The towers are topped with bronze bells that weigh a total of 33 tons and can be heard for miles around. The central dome of the basilica is one of its most striking features, standing at a height of 80 meters and covered in 7,000 square meters of copper. At the apex of the dome is a golden statue of the Virgin Mary, which can be seen from miles away. Inside the basilica, the nave is lined with 7,000 square meters of marble and can accommodate 18,000 worshippers. The floor is made of polished granite, and the walls are adorned with stained glass windows depicting scenes from the life of Christ. The altar is made of solid marble and is flanked by two bronze angels. Above the altar is a large crucifix, and behind it is a tableau of the Last Supper, carved from a single piece of wood. Apart from the basilica are two identical villas. One of the villas accommodates the clergymen who operate the basilica. A room in the other villa is reserved for papal visits, of which only one occurred when the basilica was consecrated. The basilica also features several outdoor spaces, including a large esplanade that can accommodate up to 100,000 worshippers. The esplanade is surrounded by a series of colonnades, creating a sense of grandeur and majesty. Overall, the architecture of the Basilica of Our Lady of Peace is a testament to the skill and vision of its designers and builders. It is a remarkable blend of modern and traditional styles, creating a structure that is both timeless and unique. Construction of the Church The construction of the Basilica of Our Lady of Peace in Yamusukru, Ivory Coast, 
was a massive undertaking that required the work of thousands of people over several years. The construction process began in 1985 and was completed in 1989. The basilica was designed by the Ivorian architect Pierre Facuri and modeled after the Basilica of St. Peter in Vatican City. The basilica was built on an area of 30,000 square meters and can accommodate up to 18,000 worshippers inside and an additional 100,000 outside on the esplanade. One of the biggest challenges faced during the construction of the basilica was the unstable ground on which the structure was built. To overcome this, engineers had to excavate the ground to a depth of 10 meters and lay a foundation of reinforced concrete that was two meters thick. The foundation alone required 13,000 cubic meters of concrete and 1,500 metric tons of steel. Another challenge faced during the construction of the basilica was the procurement of materials. The basilica was constructed using materials from around the world, including Italian marble, stained glass from France, and steel from Germany. Coordinating the delivery of these materials was a complex logistical task that required careful planning and organization. Despite these challenges, the construction of the basilica proceeded smoothly and the building was completed on time. The finished basilica stands as a testament to the skill and vision of its designers and builders. It is a remarkable blend of modern and traditional styles, creating a structure that is both timeless and unique. With hundreds of people working daily, the building took three years to complete and cost about $300 million. The Basilica of Our Lady of Peace is a remarkable feat of engineering and architecture that stands as a testament to the vision and determination of Felix Hufard Poigny and the skill of the designers and builders who brought his vision to life. The church was consecrated on 10 September 1990 by Pope John Paul II, who had just formally accepted the basilica as a gift from Felix Hufoud Budny on behalf of the Catholic Church. Criticism of the project The construction of the Basilica of Our Lady of Peace in Yamusukru, Ivory Coast, has received criticism over the years, particularly regarding its cost and the priorities of the government at the time. One of the main criticisms of the basilica is its cost. The building of the basilica reportedly cost around $300 million, which was a significant amount of money for Ivory Coast at the time. Critics argue that this money could have been better spent on other projects, such as education, healthcare, or infrastructure, which would have had a more direct impact on the lives of the people of the country. Another criticism of the basilica is that it was built during a time of economic hardship in Ivory Coast, with many people living in poverty. The government's decision to allocate such a large amount of money to the construction of the basilica was seen by some as a sign that the country's priorities were misplaced. There have also been criticisms of the size of the basilica, with some arguing that it is too large for the needs of the local population. The basilica can accommodate up to 18,000 worshippers inside and an additional 100,000 outside on the esplanade. Some critics argue that such a large structure is not necessary in a country with a relatively small Catholic population. What makes this project even more useless is that there is another Catholic church which is smaller but preferred to the gigantic Our Lady of Peace. So the church is kind of semi-abandoned with just a few couple of worshippers going there. This has made the basilica called the Basilica One the Bush due to how deserted it is. Despite these criticisms, the Basilica of Our Lady of Peace remains a symbol of national pride and a major tourist attraction in Ivory Coast. Supporters of the basilica argue that it serves as a testament to the faith and vision of Felix Hufout Boydny and a symbol of the country's cultural and economic progress. Though the church is not quite serving its purpose, it has actually put the country on the map. When the largest churches in the world are being mentioned, Ivory stands at the top of the list so, in one way or the other, President Felix Hufout Boydny vision was achieved because we are now talking about the country, though not in a good way.